Welcome to the section about web design. In this section, I'll give you some basic guidelines and tips so you can design your own delightful looking websites. You'll learn about beautiful typography and how to create a layout using whitespace and visual hierarchy. You'll also learn how to work with images, colors and icons to create a stunning experience for your users. Finally, I will give you some tips on how to keep yourself inspired to learn more and more about design. Like the rest of the course, we will do this with a very practical approach, because nothing is more powerful than learning by great examples and following some simple rules. We will use the concepts I teach you in this section to build our big website project in section 5. So don't worry if you don't understand everything right away. As we go over the different topics, I will also share a lot of resources with you in the course ebook. These will make your life as a designer a lot easier. So go download the ebook right now. You can find it in the resources section of this video. And you can also download it from the website of this course, which is www.webdesigncourse.co. But first, let's distinguish between web designer and web developer. The designer is the one who creates the look and feel of a website. The developer then actually builds the website based on the design from the designer. A front-end developer uses languages such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript for the front-end, which is the visible part of the website. A back-end developer also builds database-related code for dynamic web pages. In this course, we focus only on the front end part and mostly on HTML and CSS. Now, the lines between designers and developers are becoming more blurred as learning to code is getting easier for designers and designing is getting easier for developers. And there is a good reason why it is getting easier to get started with design. And I'm talking about flat design which is the big new design trend popularized by Microsoft and Apple. The introduction of flat design completely changed the way we design today. I will explain this based on Apple's iOS that we can see here. So on the left side you have the old iOS 6 with all those shadows, color gradients, textures and bevels. On the right side the new iOS 7 look and feel. Now flat design gets rid of all those shadows, color gradients, textures and so on, leaving us with a two-dimensional design without losing the functionality. And most people perceive flat design as being simple, clean and modern. And I personally think that the interface on the right side looks much cleaner and more elegant. Or look at these two login forms. I mean, would you find it easier to design the left or the right interface. And that's what I'm talking about. So this is a huge opportunity for new designers just like you. And look at these beautiful flat web designs. Now I'm not saying that it's easy to design these sites because it really is not. But for a complete beginner I think it's easier to get started with this type of design because it's technically easier to do. But why am I telling you all of this you may ask. It's because I think it's very important that you start to get a feeling for what's happening in the world of web design. So next up we will learn some guidelines about typography. See you there!